Hey, what's up? Candy Cane here, and welcome back once again. Uh, today, guys, um, welcome back. Um, <laughs> it was, it was, um, it's kind of funny how I actually wanted to do a different video, but I actually am um, changing my mind, and I'm just going to do the video right here. So, um, basically, I wanted to um, make a video. I was kind of um, scared to um, make this um, topic just because um, I'm not. I'm not too good at um, with um, topics and how to how to give a good um, explanation an explanation about it because you know I'm kind of I'm not like in the head type of guy like sometimes I kind of jump from um, topics to topics and not <clears throat> not realize I'm um, not realizing about it so I will try my best to um, you know give give the proper information on this video so yeah so this is gonna be um battlefield versus um hardline basically um which is better um yeah that's pretty much it um which is better and i hope you guys um enjoy this so yeah sit back and relax and hear my commentary let's do this all right so um first one now I've been playing Battlefield 4 for, let me see how long, uh, maybe about, maybe about four months on the, um, PlayStation, and it, like, it really doesn't matter which, um, console that you're really on, PlayStation 3, um, PlayStation 3, 4, I'm not too sure, if, I'm not too sure if they have it on the 4, but 360 or maybe Xbox One, also, I really don't know if they have it on the Xbox One. Um, now... The reason why I'm personally, I'm personally, I love the game, it's just because it has the, um, it has that military um feeling to it. It's just basically, you can call out enemies, you can have a teammate. The vehicles are real. The bullet drops are amazing, and the um, and the and there is so many um variety of weapons, and there's so much to do. Um, so much game modes. You get obviously the XP ranks. Like there's so much um to do. But um, what makes um, Battlefield 4 actually Battlefield 4? Um, me, what makes um, Battlefield 4, what basically makes Battlefield 4, it's maybe it's because of the, um, maybe it's the, um, it's the um, realistic of the game. Um, uh, the reason why, um, people really enjoy this game is probably because it's it's kind of realistic the like it has the um the bullet drop it's basically like a um perfect example when you shoot a um a sniper rifle on the bullet drop like like obviously it just won't go straight obviously but on um, other games the bullet would just go straight but but on this um on battlefield 4 which is kind of considered considered as a simulator um the the bullet just completely just drops and you always gotta keep on um you always gotta keep on ang like angling the um the bullets it's basically the same thing just like tanks it it just because um the reason why battlefield 4 it makes it awesome it just because it's it's realistic and i think that's probably the reason why people really enjoy it just because it's realistic plus it has teammates you can do call outs like like i said before there's always that military feeling behind it and that's what makes battlefield 4 battlefield 4 <laughs> now now this is the um the uh, big one now against battlefield 4 w uh, comes along um hardline now i really i really enjoy hardline but i i think it kind of took away from the um the experience of the um a, a battlefield um you know it, it's great to um like change up the um the pace of um the games and stuff like that but when there is too much change or basically um it's it's basically um when you change too much like um um basically um you need to make like little small changes like um what could be the perfect example that i'm trying to say to you guys before you guys think i'm nuts um it's like um <laughs> let's just say call of duty which i kind of keep on almost making my, all my explanations around that game now if you take um cod4 right call of duty 4 um you know obviously um it, it's the first time that the game actually became popular um around what like around when, when was it around 2006 2007 I, i'm not too sure um 
when the game first came out, every, every, everybody knew what to expect on COD4. Now, when um, the next Call of Duty game came came out, which is um, what MW was it um, MW2? I'm not too sure. But the next Call of Duty, they um, they made um, little small changes, but they kept the Call of Duty feeling. If you guys get what I'm trying to say, like there wasn't too much change, but there was change, just enough to understand. Like they they um, try to switch out um, play styles and stuff like that. On on hardline, on hardline, um, they still they made a lot of they made changes, but uh, way too much changes. Like you know, I get it. Um, you know, um, like like they they always want to change up the um the the military feeling and switch it up to a cops and robbers game, but to me uh, as a gamer, I feel a, I feel like um the game was mostly directed to um. To um children um to kids, uh, if you gotta think about it um you know like um um the age that we live in right now it's basically what it's it's filled with um well majority of kids on here basically on the internet you know kind of prefer you know fun things that's that's nothing wrong with that it's just because you know it, it's great to have fun and everything but people just really just really want to just enjoy the game have hardcore like hardcore things about the game and just do some crazy stuff with it but now with um games that they, they're mostly they're mostly towards kids you know and there's nothing wrong with that but there's some people out there that, that really want to go back to the old games and you know like um like play play the actual game like call of duty or maybe the old battlefields like battlefield 3 4 which is completely terrific but now um some of these games they're they're going way too fast they're putting a lot of nonsense into it and like I'm, I'm not trying to judge too hard on Hardline, but it, it's kind of it's kind of becoming just like um just like Call of Duty, and yeah, it's it, it's you know it, it's cool and everything changing up the game, but when you change it up too much, it, it kind of it it breaks away from the end game. Now, I, like I said before, I really enjoy Hardline, but when it when it kind of takes it like kind of a whole different direction, like a very huge direction. Then you know I kind of I kind of like like I, I still like it, but I'm kind of um I'm, I'm kind of losing you know the game's feeling with it. Um, now I played the um the campaign of it. Now the campaign was was it was great, but it just it was too fast. And when you got to the middle of the game, it's like like what the hell? I kind of I kind of got this far, and the game is like already coming to an end it's it's basically just like hardline the multi the multiplayer is terrific but it just seems like it doesn't have that that military feeling to it and plus they took away all the um some some great vehicles too um and, and I, I find it kind of funny how um this tanks in a hardline but it's only in the single player in one little section and they only have choppers and stuff like that but so yeah guys hopefully you um got up out of this i i apologize if i was like all over the place or maybe i would just say in words just so um keep the flow in it but yeah um i wanted to make this video because i've been i've been putting this video off it just because um i've been having a little problems with me doing um topics and i finally grew some finally grew some balls after i'm um, about maybe about two years of slightly doing um youtube here and there but now hopefully um this video came out great if it came to shit then keep in mind guys i have I have the um rest of my youtube stuff to um keep it right so until then guys my name is c12 and as always take the time out of your day to enjoy it take it easy guys peace out